Hello everybody. So, um, obviously I have a little new area and I've moved out. So, um, things are a little crazy so I haven't gotten a lot of videos out. I did have 20 subscribers at one point but now I'm back down to 6. Thanks, I guess. I was pretty surprised myself. I didn't expect to get a lot of subscribers. But at the same time, it was an awesome feeling. And um, hopefully I can back, get back up there. I'm going to try and vlog more. I have a lot more time now. And um, also, I in the meantime, I made a little surprise. I made a new intro. Speaking of an intro, let's throw that in here. So that was my intro, it took me a while, love it though, I think I'll stick with it for a while. Um, so to start off, uh, the grocery girl story. So I don't think I ever got to that because my computer kept whizzing out and it still is. That's why this computer is going to be a little, I mean this, uh, this video I guess is going to be a little weird because it's edited in YouTube and if anyone knows YouTube editing you know it doesn't work very well. <laughs> like it works but eh, it's it, sorta sorta. Anyway so uh, my editing system's kind of screwed so I'm going to use YouTube for now and also I'm getting a new laptop that way I'll have a better editing thing and nothing will be corrupted everything's gonna work. So um, get right to it I guess. So the grocery uh, story is I was sitting there and I was working uh, just as a bagger you know sitting there you know putting things in bags for a living that's what I do and I get money for it and it's great but someone called to me from like forever away and I don't know if I what happens with me but when I get tired or something my hearing's just gone so I hear Jacob and so I look over and I see a girl over there. I think it was um, it, it was a girl voice. So it was definitely a girl. I couldn't tell who, but I keep hearing it and like I see someone awkwardly wave. I don't recognize them at all. I'm just like, oh, hi. And I sort of wave and then she like looks all pouty and walks off. I'm like, ah, I'm sorry if that's, if grocery girl, if you're out there, sorry, I didn't. I didn't recognize you, I don't hear you. If anyone sees me, come up and talk to me, especially when I'm really tired. I don't always catch everything. I can be a little woo -woo sometimes. So, um, yeah, sorry about that whole thing um, to go on. Um, now, lately, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of stuff that's come up within the past couple of months. So give me a second here. But I believe... Another cool thing. Oh, yes. So my beloved car, Gary, I'll throw probably throw a picture of him somewhere in this frame or two. Um, so he is, um, Gary is a classy old man. Okay, he's older than me. He's 91. I'm 98. So he's 20-something now, which is really, really good and really, really old for a car, by the way. And, um... <laughs> He's getting rough around the edges. It's scary. But within the last three weeks, I have had to have him jumped nine times, including on dates. Nine times. Nine times. And that is ridiculous. Luckily, I carry jumper cables, but it's still really obnoxious to make that call that you're just like, uh... I, I don't like, I have this problem, I don't like asking for favors from strangers. Like I could, I just, I'm shy that way. That's like the one way I'm shy. I usually talk to everyone and I'm a really social guy, but generally I'm just so shy when it comes to asking for favors because I can't really pay them back for that. And um, also, another fun thing, so it's died while I'm on dates. I was going with this chick and um, I won't name names, but we pulled up to a church to look for some Wi-Fi because I wanted to show her some other cool YouTube videos that I saw and that I thought were pretty funny. And um, I pulled up and Wi-Fi was working great and I turned off the car, or I thought I turned it off. Turns out when you turn the key, it's not always, it's not 
all the way off. There's this little thing where you have to push on top and then turn it. And I usually do that, but for some reason I forgot to turn it all the way off, so it's draining batteries bit by bit. So an hour later of watching YouTube videos, and yet... Yeah, I watch that much YouTube videos, okay? I'm... Life, I, I get bored, I don't really have a lot of college right now. I'm in college, but only three hours a day, and it's really not that much. I have a lot of time. That's how I got the awesome intro, and just so much stuff to do that, uh, well, so much time to do stuff. I, words! Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is so much, I have so much time and I need more stuff to do and I need to hang out more because I've been literally cooped up in my place. I don't know whether to call it my house, my home anymore, but my place for the past like three weeks doing literally nothing, literally, but like walking around and modeling and playing games. And modeling's cool. I've gotten a lot done there. I've done a lot on Blender, but it's just not productive. I still feel like a potato. So, well, I'm always a potato, but yeah, tomato, tomato. So I watch a lot of YouTube and it's cause, well, I'm bored and I need to get stuff done. But back to the story, I, um, I pulled up and then we get stuck there for an hour uh, and it's next to this church and it looks so bad because it's just us two in the car and it's dark and it's bad because <laughs> the church parking lot's empty and um, so I called everyone I could okay I know this was a bad move but Barry, just don't hate <laughs> but I pulled up and the car, I go to turn on the car, and it goes, ka-chunk, chunk, ka-chunk, chunk, and then it dies. Nothing. So I'm like, oh, great, it died again. And the girl's like, oh, ha, 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 that, this much sucked. This is so awkward. I'm like, yeah. So I call my grandma, nothing. My mom, nothing. My dad, nothing. Uh, two of my best friends, nothing. And then I call another girl that I'm really interested in dating. And you know who you are if you see this. That's weird I don't know I'm weird but anyway um, and it was a bad move <laughs> I called this girl and she's super chill she's super awesome about it it gave her a break from work she was fine so she comes up and jumps me and I just you think of the situation we were in that car and you gotta understand my car it's a 91 Camry it's bright white so you wouldn't think it gets hot but it's dark blue in the interior so it gets super hot and we had the windows down, but we were still, like, sweating up a storm. And when you come driving up to this, it must have looked so bad. It must have looked so bad because she comes driving up, and I can only just imagine what's going through her head. And then we explain car stuff. And normally, you know, jumping a car is pretty simple. You go positive to positive, negative to um, the body, mainly, of the car. Metal, unpainted. And then you just have the person rev the car a little and then yours starts up. Thing is, she had this weird battery case because it was like one of those newer cars. And I don't like new cars because they're all one piece. So we had to take like four things off to get to the battery. And then once we finally got to it, it was like a weird stud battery and we had to get awkwardly in. But once we did, it worked. We were to start up the car. But it's just like, mm, the situation was so bad and it just looked bad and I can only imagine what's going through her head and I promise we just watched Tobuscus on Wi-Fi shout out to him by the way we just watched that that's all that happened and people were there were like rumors about it all oh, it was not good at all so that was my one of my date stories that also happened again. Same girl, by the way. Same girl. She got a bloody nose and during that time. And I, for some reason, I had lately cleaned out my car, which is really rare because I definitely live out of my car. But I cleaned out my car, so most of the napkins were gone. So that was bad. And she got, like, I mean, like, a bloody nose. It wasn't just, like, those, like, little drips. I mean, like, someone set off a paint bomb or something. It was flowing. And so we were running out of napkins quick, and I called my best friends. They ended up 
helping me out. But again, it was hot, it was sweaty, and it was... And they knew I had an interest in this girl, and they knew the girl had an interest in me. I mean, not anymore, but it was. And it's, it's not because of this, though it very well could have been. It's not, thank goodness. Um, it just, it looks so bad. And they pulled up and they nudged me and they're like, Hey, Jake, what have you been doing? I'm like, I haven't been doing anything. My car's been dying. It's a battery, I swear. And the... It was a guy and a girl, and the guy kind of slaps me on the back. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, no, I'm not that person. I'm a good guy. I I swear it. I swear. <laughs> and so these real things happen, and life's an adventure. Just remember that whenever crap and random stuff happens and it looks so bad, remember, look at it. Laugh at yourself, it's okay. Things like this happen all the time to everyone. Don't worry about it. And uh, just remember, life's an adventure. It's a super fun adventure and let's make the most of it. I'm not saying like go YOLO and jump off a cliff or anything. No, not like that. I'm saying live life for what it is and not even to the fullest because that's some people believe the fullest is like total adrenaline junkie. It doesn't have to be. Just live life so, uh, as Markiplier put it, great YouTuber, he inspired me, by the way. As Markiplier put it, he said, create, uh, what are they called, relationships, friends, family, and then get those relationships together, and that's the start of something beautiful, and beautiful is what makes life worth living. And I love that quote. Um, so life's an adventure, go and live it. And while you're living it, guys, spread some jite, uh, please. There's a lot of stuff going on. That'll be my next video. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, spread some jite. I'll catch you guys later.